Hello everyone, welcome back to Sea of Stars. Last time we met the traveling historian and she went into our pocket as a key item like Lancer and Rules Card. And today, we're going to continue on. There's birds numbers uh, 14, 15, 16, or whatever. We're going to continue on. Ah, uh, come on. I don't I already fought you. I don't need to fight you again. Okay. And see where our adventure takes us. Okay, this road is blocked. If there is a road there at all. Um, that's right. We gained the ability to change the seasons. But we're going to Windy Lock. This looks like a fishing minigame area. Can we change the seasons? We cannot change the seasons when we are just standing around. And by seasons, I mean time of day. <laughs> Let's go. What are these fish? There's three different types, it looks like. Come on, gotcha. Skeleton fish. Hard shell. Alright, so... That was one of those. Come on, little fish. I lost it somehow. I don't know how. Don't know why. Alright, bigger fish. Is this the same one I caught the first time? I think when I hear the sound, that sound, it means stop reeling. Ooh, flashing. It broke. <laughs> broke clean off. All right, there's no fish out there. No, 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 not you. I don't want, I already got one of you. Broke again, faster that time. So, yeah, I'm not sure. If I let go now. Yeah, I'm not sure. Oh! Oh, there's a particle effect in the background. Maybe I, okay, I, I see. I'm supposed to reel when it's in the particle effect. Oh, that's a new kind. I thought that was the same one I got. Grass haddock. I thought it said gross. <laughs> Alright, let's go for another one. Smaller fish this time. All right, now that I know the rule, this is so much easier. Lunar trout. Yeah, I think we've got that one already. So I think that's probably all the different kinds of fish in here, so... Goodbye, fishing spot. Wait, what was that? I saw something right here. There's stuff here. What is it? What is it? Oh! I can go in the fish pond. I didn't know that. I'm scaring the fish away. This is, this is, I, I like it here. This is nice. Okay. There's resources on the other side. Huh. Cool. Oh, it tells you what kinds of fish there are. Nice. I caught one of each. I bet there's an achievement for catching one of every type of fish. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Let's, let's go? Let's go? Where do I go? I came from above. So... Oh, maybe we need to go to the place. So, which enemies are these spells attached to? Uh, is, is this one the one with the moons or the one with the swords? I don't know. Okay, that's the sword one. Yeah, this was the place I was thinking of. What? Nothing? Come on! Uh, different time of day, I guess?
Yeah, that was a cool spell break. Ooh, I see something. Oh, treasure. Recipe mushroom soup. Oh, I see. There's a bridge this way. <laughs> we continue going this way. Birds 16, 17, and 18. And 19. Okay, so we've got to change the time of day thing. All right, how's the health? It's okay. There we go, all good. So we can change it to uh, like right after dawn, I mean right after sundown, or right before sun up. But now it's changed. Let's see if we can go back and anything's changed back here. Oh no, it resets the time when you go to the campfire. It might reset the enemies too. But it doesn't reset the enemies. That's nice. How about now? Nope, nothing. I wonder what the difference is between these things. Like this, this time of night versus this time of night. Yeah, the shadows are in different places. Okay, both of those are lit up. They're fading away slowly. Oh! Something happens when you get all of them. Aw, oh, nice! Ah. Treasure! Zale and Garl learned combo skill Solar Rain! Yeah! <laughs> I was just playing around with that. But yeah, if we need it to be a different time, we can come back here and change it. Can we fit back here? <laughs> There's an enemy. Or a... yeah, an enemy. And bird number 20. What's up? A creature. A wanderer. Mountains are nice. This is the life. Alright, cool. Didn't want to attack us. That's fine by me. Bird number 21. 
we jump down here? Almost looks like we can. Here we go, we make it to the world map over here where we can get somewhere. And it's different because it's night. Oh, uh, I wonder if this is a different filter put over it or if it's drawn differently. Like if it's recolored by hand. Like I wonder if it's different assets or if it's the same assets with the effects on it. Stonemason's Outpost. I assume these are not enemies. The Elder hasn't returned! Malcolmud! Malcolmud will kill us all! Run! This is crazy music for just getting here, and uh, also a coincidence that, uh, quite the coincidence that somebody's coming to to kill them all, apparently. Who are you? Have you coming to save us? W well, of course, they're solstice warriors. Carl! That's true, no? We should help if we can. What's the matter? It's Malcolmud, the Earth Elemental Wizard. We're just peaceful little outposts taking care of the mine's wind tunnels. It's our job it is to keep them unobstructed so the wind can play the melody for the sleeper. Whoa. But now Malcolmud has taken over the mine so we can't go in anymore. If the sleeper wakes, it will be the end of the world. What's more, he clogged the tunnel power in the great elevator's windmill so we can't even go to the brisk to ask for help. If this continues, Malcolm Mud's minions will start pouring out of the mines and... And... It's okay. We're here to help. What happened next? The Elder went in to try to stop them, but it's been so long. Where's the entrance? Just up there at the top of the outpost. But Malcolm Mud is very powerful. Don't worry. We'll find your Elder. One evil wizard going down. Oh, what luck! Thank you! Everyone, stop panicking! <laughs> Solstice warriors are here to solve everything! The Elder will return! Malcolm Mode won't kill us all! Yay! This is so, like, over the top. <laughs> Melodramatic? Is that the word? I'll let you get on with it then. There's still lots for me to learn here. Well, after butchering those lines, let's continue into Stonemason's Outpost. Things sure seem a lot peppier than the idea that the world is about to end. This probably goes down. I'm gonna explore a little more before I do that. What's up? The water mill stopped functioning after Malcolm had clogged the wind tunnels. There's no more water in the well. I really want to take a bath. Will you go to the mines to help? So much to learn here. And you're looking off into the distance. Wait, I can look into the distance too. The view dives into the horizon. What does that mean? Close door. Open door. Even with all the panic going on, my brother won't come out of his studio. All he does is paint all day long. Well, hopefully he's developing some skill with that. I saw that. So we might get the ability to push and pull in this area. This will be my best work ever! It's pretty good, just saying. The panic of the end of the world fuels that artistic spirit, doesn't it? Are you the Solstice Warriors? I really hope you can defeat Malcolmud. Be careful in the mines. <laughs> Apparently someone spotted a monstrous salamander. <laughs> I don't know what I was trying to do with that voice. Okay. 
Um, apparently that wasn't enough force. We could try again. Everyone was running around just a moment ago. Grown-ups are weird. When I grow up, I want to work in the ground like my parents. Well, I wouldn't be surprised if that's what you end up doing. If the tunnels keep getting clogged, the wind will stop playing the melody through the mountain. If the sleeper wakes, we're doomed. Ancient Molken Cloak. Is that something I can equip, or is it a key item? It's a key item. Oh, he doesn't... I didn't equip that? Alright, where are we going? Where else is there to go? I have not been... I think I've been in that one. I should have been more methodical about it. Are you really Solstice Warriors? That's so cool! Mom says we can't go out, but it's boring in here. There's nothing to do. I can't let my kids go outside with everything going on. It's too dangerous! It is? I guess there's an evil Malcolmud on the loose. Oh, the irony. What's the matter? I need my tools to fix this busted door, but they're in the back room and I can't get through. The lever on the other side seems to work fine though, if only there was another way to enter. I'll try to find another entrance. Oh, I thank you. An expertly crafted table. Oh, nice. Yeah, it is. Since the elder went in, the elevator hasn't returned. I suppose we'd have to just jump in. Speaking of jumping, I'm gonna go back to that spot we jumped to. Can I get up here? I can. More force. This is not working. What about here? This is somebody's home. This is interesting. I'm trying to look at the decor to see the world building of a mole house. They've got crystal mirrors, it looks like. Crystal table. If this sculpture represents something, it's probably something abstract. Oh, uh, wait, what? This isn't a sculpture, though. It's a... it's a tool, right? Something... like... turning something through the floor? Like a piece of machinery? Was that supposed to... Was that supposed to play for this? Like, I'm not sure. I can't open it from this side. Maybe this place is for a side quest or something. Why is everyone angry at Malcolmud? I don't get it. That's a good question. Just who is this person? This whole Malcolmud business is so annoying, I just want to get back to work. Oh, right. I mean, Malcolmud did clog up the place and nobody can go to work. That would explain it. <laughs> Th that's why it is. Nobody can go to work. Yeah, I don't get it. What's the problem with that? <laughs> I can't sleep since Malcolm Wood took over the mines. I fear his minions might attack the town at any moment. Can we? We cannot. Okay, good to know. And we go in here. Oh, it's it's an inn. Welcome to the Sleepy Mason. Would you like to rest in our geothermal room? Sure. Does it cost anything, or is this a free inn for travelers? The campfire feels cozy and warm. Campfire? 
Fighting an evil wizard was totally on my bucket list. <laughs> I didn't think we'd go around trying to save a small town, but here we are. Hey, you are video game protagonists. You ain't seen nothing yet. Malcolm Wood's clogging the mine's wind tunnels. We have to do something before the sleeper wakes up. Garl just wants to save the world. That's what he wants to do. Welcome to the- we were just here. Oh, I'm so sorry. I wish you would stay. We did! We did! I would love to see a new face in the inn. We're, 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 would you like to stay at the inn? No, we already bent over this. Okay, this is probably the entrance to the mines. Wind tunnel mines. Security rules rem reminder. No jumping down the elevator shaft. Probably a good idea. But we're solstice warriors and uh <laughs> that expression. Yeah, yeah, what 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 are you so surprised about? We just hopped down an elevator shaft. I mean, you act like that's not something you see every day. Are you the elder? Uh uh I am, and you are Solstice Warriors, we're here to confront Malcolmud. Oh my, how wonderful. What can you tell us about the situation? Not much, I'm afraid. I was simply trying to get away from the noise of all this panic when everyone started cheering as if I was going to fix the problem. <laughs> that expression. So now I'm stuck here, equally afraid to venture forth as I am to return to my people without a solution. Uh... Don't sweat it, Elder. We got you. I certainly hope so. Be careful in there. Malcolmud is one mighty wizard. <laughs> uh, Zael and Valyra are just like, come on, people. Solve your own problems. <laughs> no jumping down. But we have to move the elevator before we can do that. Can we activate the elevator now? No. We gotta move the Elder first. Looks like we got some block sliding puzzles. I assume we can't move it yet. We can jump on it. <laughs> Miner's break room. Well, let's go in. Is it the sign for the, the ladder or the door? Hey there, need something for the road? Uh, is this new stuff? Weapon upgrades? Heck yeah. Anything for Gaul? This one's a really good upgrade for Gaul. And now we're out of money. Alright, cool. Save up. What is up the ladder? Enemies and a new one! What's these drill things? Can we attack them? Because My first thought is, oh, we can't attack them because they're flying. But let's try it out. Drill that! Let's go for this one, because maybe we can kill it before it attacks us. Apparently we can. Three times? That's a little unfair. Alright, didn't get an attack in. Yes. Alright, now we gotta attack you, but with other characters. Alright, and 
those bugs are weak to spells, that's right. One hit. <laughs> A picnic basket. That's the treasure chest in this area. Three eggs. No, maybe it is just a picnic basket. Okay. I wondered if, since uh, we could move after we hit the lever, but while that was moving, I wondered if we might have to catch it while it's moving. This is such like cartoonish mole music. I wonder if that makes sense. Oh wait, now we have to go in there, which means we have to pull this back. I see. Oh, we can't catch it unless it's not moving. Two, I saw four mushrooms there. You can't tell me I only got two. Come on. Alright, I just, I was like, there's two paths, I gotta guess the one that's the right path, and I did, or the wrong path, and it ended up that they were both right. The one I took was better. What did I just get? Green leaf, okay. I don't know who is the best to have which items, but as long as everyone has equipped items, it's better than not equipping items. Yeah, surprise attack. All right, we're gonna have a level up pretty soon. Three dairy. What kind of dairy? Cheese, butter, just dairy. Yeah? We need a skill or something? Here's a track as if we need to push something. Okay, puzzle for later. There's a lot of doors. Uh, ancient Mole King Cloak. Cookie jar. <laughs> oh, this is almost feeling like a Zelda dungeon. There's... There's three enemies. Okay. Okay, I only did one. <laughs> which which one of these is that for? Is it for this one? Yes, okay. <laughs> Teal drop. Ooh. Ooh, I can break that thing as if I do this right and break the spell. What? Only once with the sun? That's that's BS. Bite? Oh. Okay. That's kind of rough.
Nice block, me. That's uh, a lot of a lot of things, and we can't do it because what's his name's down. Okay, let's just take it out. You go away, weird bus thing in the wall. Okay, it's probably not a bus. It's probably a, a rock monster. Okay, Zale's up. All right, let's go. Okay, that was a tough fight. Oh, we blocked some of the wind. We unblocked some of the wind. Okay. HP up. Here we go. And let's actually use an item out of the battle because that makes it more convenient. We <laughs> It saved. Oh, the mole. <laughs> Oh, you brought power back. I suppose I'll be going then. The mines continue below. Please stop, Malcolm Wood. I'm about to take credit for everything you did. Alright, let's, uh, I shouldn't have used my item there. Because, rest. And also, let's cook. This one seems pretty good. We need some more mushrooms for our mushroom soup. Let's save a spot in our inventory for it. All right, I think that's enough for an episode. Next time, we'll go deeper into the mines. Thank you all so much for watching. Let me know what you thought in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more Sea of Stars and other awesome games. I'll see you next time. Bye.